Hi, welcome to EPG Patshala Spanish. I am Rajiv Saxena and I teach Spanish in the Center of Spanish, Portuguese, Italian and Latin American Studies in the Jawaharlal Nehru University, New Delhi. We are in the paper entitled Intermediate Grammar. We are in the module which we call the verb chart. This is verb chart number 5, future and conditional tense. The objective of this module is that you will have a list of useful verbs and their conjugations so that you can use them to improve your communication skills. We have already said that it is very important to learn up all these conjugations lists and also remember the tense which we are talking about. So, in this chapter, in this module, we are talking about the future and the conditional tense. These verbs will come very handy while speaking, writing or even reading in Spanish. However, be very careful while using these verbs as these require special attention. Therefore, it is advisable to go through the related chapters first before attempting to use these verbs in your communication. So, I, I repeat that it is very handy to use these verbs while speaking, reading or writing in Spanish. But use these verbs very carefully because these verbs require special attention. So, please go carefully through the related modules first before attempting to use these verbs in your communication. In the following verbs, which we are going to be talking about today, the third person pronouns, singular and plural, given are Elia and Elios. But you already know that there can be El, Elia, Usted for singular and Elios, Elias, Ustedes for the plural pronouns in the same place. So keep this in mind and please go ahead and memorize the word blips that we are giving. The first verb that we would like to discuss today is a very important verb because that's what we are doing. We are aprender, learning, right? So, how do we conjugate aprender? In the future, we conjugate aprender as yo aprenderé, tú aprenderás, él, ella, usted aprenderá, nosotros aprenderemos, vosotros aprenderéis, and ellos Elias, ustedes aprenderán. I repeat, aprender, to learn, is conjugated and in the future as aprenderé, aprenderás, aprenderá, aprenderemos, aprenderéis, and aprenderán. If you take out the print of from the E text, then you will understand that there is an accent on all the conjugations except the nosotros one. So, aprenderé with accent, aprenderás with accent, aprenderá with accent, nosotros aprenderemos without accent, aprenderéis with accent and aprenderán with accent. The same rule is for all the verbs that follow. So, let us pick another verb which is barrer, which is to sweep. The conjugation of barrer in the future is as follows. Yo barreré. Tú barreras. Él, ella, usted barrerá. Nosotros barreremos. Vosotros barreréis. Ellos, ellas, ustedes barrerán. I repeat. Barreré, barreras, barrerá. Barreremos, barreréis and barrerán. As I have pointed out earlier, only the nosotros doesn't have an accent. Otherwise, all the other forms have an accent. Another verb that we would continue with is buscar, to look for or to search. In the future, buscar is conjugated as yo buscaré, tú buscarás, él, ella, usted buscará, nosotros buscaramos, vosotros buscaráis, and ellos, ellas, ustedes buscarán. I repeat. Buscaré, buscarás, buscará, buscaremos, buscaráis, and buscarán. It's very clear. 
Buscare with accent, buscaras with accent, buscara with accent, buscaremos without accent, buscareis with accent, and buscaran with an accent. Another verb which is very important, and especially when we are learning a new language, is comprender, which is to understand. Yo comprenderé, tú comprenderás, él, ella, usted comprenderá, nosotros comprenderemos, vosotros comprenderéis, ellos, ellas, ustedes comprenderán. I repeat, the conjugation of comprender in the future tense is comprenderé, comprenderás, comprenderá, comprenderemos without accent, comprenderéis and comprenderán. Another verb which I would love to teach every time is correr, to run. The conjugation of correr in the future is as follows. Yo correré, tú correrás, él, ella, usted correrá, nosotros correremos, vosotros correréis, ellos, ellas, ustedes correrán. I repeat, correré, correrás, correrá, correremos without accent, correréis and correrán. Another verb which I would like to talk about today is desir. How do we conjugate desir in the future? We do the conjugation in the following manner. Yo diré, tú dirás, él, ella, usted dirá, nosotros diremos, vosotros diréis, and ellos, ellas, ustedes dirán. Another verb that we would like to pick up is escribir. Yo escribiré. Tú escribirás. Él, ella, usted escribirá. Nosotros escribiremos. Vosotros escribiréis. And ellos, ellas, ustedes escribirán. I repeat, escribir in the future is conjugated as escribiré, escribirás, escribirá, escribiremos, escribiréis, and escribirán. Escuchar is another verb that I would like to discuss today. And we will see how escuchar is conjugated in the future tense. Yo escucharé. Tú escucharás. Él, ella, usted escuchará. Nosotros escucharemos. Vosotros escucharéis. And ellos, ellas, and ustedes escucharán. I repeat, the conjugation of escuchar in the future tense is escucharé, escucharás, escuchará. Escucharemos without accent, escucharéis, and escucharán. Another verb that we've always been insisting is very important is estar, to be. How do we conjugate estar in the future tense? We conjugate it in the following manner. Yo estaré, tú estarás, él, ella, usted estará, nosotros estaremos, vosotros estaréis, and ellos, ellas, ustedes estarán. I repeat, estar in the future is conjugated in the following manner. Estaré, estarás, estará, estaremos without accent, estaréis, and estarán. Another verb which is also very useful and important is haber. So, the conjugation of haber in the future tense is yo abre. Tú abras, él, ella, usted abra, nosotros abremos, vosotros abréis, ellos, ellas, ustedes abran. I repeat, abre, abras, abra, abremos, abréis, and abran. Another verb which everybody uses and is very frequently used in Spanish and we should learn it by heart also because this is what we are trying to do in Spanish, which is to speak, hablar. So, how do we conjugate hablar in the future? We conjugate hablar in the following manner. Yo hablaré, tú hablarás, él, ella, usted hablará, nosotros hablaremos without accent, vosotros hablaréis, ellos, ellas, ustedes hablarán. I repeat, hablaré, hablarás. Hablará, hablaremos without accent, hablaréis and hablarán.
it's very simple how do we go on to trans uh, to conjugate another verb which is important which is aser to do well we conjugate aser in the following manner in the future tense yo are tu aras el elia usted ara nosotros haremos vosotros areis and elios elias ustedes aran i repeat are aras ara aremos areis and aran how do we conjugate the verb ir which is also a very important verb and it is always irregular in all its forms well ir in the future is conjugated in the following manner yo ire tu iras el elia usted ira nosotros iremos vosotros ireis and elios elias ustedes iran how do we do the conjugation of the verb leer we conjugate leer in the future in the following manner yo leeré tú leerás él ella usted leerá nosotros leeremos vosotros leeréis ellos ellas ustedes leerán i repeat leeré leerás leerá leeremos without accent leeréis and leerán another verb which is very important and frequently used in spanish is llamar to con oneself how do we do the conjugation of llamar we conjugate llamar in the future in the following manner yo llamaré tú llamarás él ella usted llamará nosotros llamaremos vosotros llamaréis and ellos ellas ustedes llamarán i repeat how do we conjugate llamar in the future llamaré llamarás llamará llamaremos without accent llamaréis and llamarán another verb which is quite often used in spanish is mandar to order how do we conjugate mandar in the future we conjugate mandar in the following manner yo mandaré tú mandarás él ella usted mandará nosotros mandaremos vosotros mandaréis and ellos ellas ustedes mandarán how do we conjugate a verb like organizar in the future well organizar is a ar ending verb so we conjugate it like any other ar ending verb as we we have already seen many of the verbs that we have done like hablar so ab, like hablar organizar is yo organizaré tú organizarás él ella usted organizará nosotros organi organizaremos without accent vosotros organizaréis and ellos ellas ustedes organizarán i repeat organizaré organ organizarás organizará organizaremos organizaréis and organizarán so once you've learned the pattern of how to conjugate the verbs in the future tense all the verbs follow the same pattern poder is also another verb but it changes a bit so we'll see how it is done poder in the future is conjugated in the following manner yo podré tú podrás él ella usted podrá nosotros podremos vosotros podréis and ellos ellas ustedes podrán i repeat podré podrás podrá podremos podréis and podrán without an accent on the podremos another verb which we use quite often in spanish is poner yo pondré tú pondrás él ella usted pondrá nosotros pondremos vosotros pondréis ellos ellas ustedes pondrán i repeat pondré pondrás pondrá pondremos pondréis and pondrán another verb which we have dealt with many times also and which is quite frequently used is the verb like querer i like or to want right so querer in the future tense in spanish is conjugated in the following manner yo querré tú querrás él ella usted querrá nosotros querremos without accent vosotros querréis 
and Elios, Elias, and Ustedes, Kerran. I repeat, Kerre, Kerras, Kerra, Kerremos, Kerreis, and Kerran. How do we do the conjugation of a verb like Recibir? Well, we conjugate it in the following manner, in the future. Yo recibiré, tú recibirás, él, ella, usted recibirá, nosotros recibiremos, vosotros recibiréis, and ellos, ellas, ustedes recibirán. I repeat, recibiré, recibirás, recibirá, recibiremos, recibiréis, and recibirán. How do we conjugate a verb like saber in the future? Well, we conjugate saber in the following manner in the future tense. Yo sabré, tú sabrás, él, ella, usted sabrá, nosotros sabremos, vosotros sabréis, and ellos, ellas, ustedes sabrán. I repeat, yo sabré, tú sabrás, él, ella, usted sabrá, Nosotros sabremos without accent, vosotros sabréis, and ellos, ellas, ustedes sabrán. How do we conjugate a verb like sacar? In the future, sacar is conjugated in the following manner. Yo sacaré, tú sacarás, él, ella, usted sacará, nosotros sacaremos, vosotros sacaréis, and ellos, ellas, ustedes sacarán. Sacar is to get. To achieve. How do we conjugate it? Sacaré, sacarás, sacará, sacaremos without accent, sacaréis, and sacarán. Another verb which we use it quite frequently in Spanish is the verb salir, which means to go out or to leave. So, how do you conjugate salir in the future? Salir in the future is conjugated in the following manner. Yo saldré, tú saldrás, él, ella, usted saldrá. Nosotros saldremos, vosotros saldréis, and ellos, ellas, ustedes saldrán. I repeat, saldré, saldrás, saldrá, saldremos, saldréis, and saldrán. Another verb like estar, and it is always better to learn ser and estar together, is ser. And how do you conjugate ser in the future? You conjugate ser in the future in the following manner. Yo seré, tú serás. Él, ella, usted será. Nosotros seremos. Vosotros seréis. And ellos, ellas, and ustedes serán. I repeat, the conjugation of ser in the future is seré, serás, será. Seremos, seréis, and serán. The very famous important English uh, song, que será, será, is from Spanish, which means whatever will be, will be. Right? So, ser in the future is seré, serás, será, seremos, seréis, and serán. How do you do the conjugation of another verb which is very important and very frequently used in Spanish, which is tener? To have. The conjugation of tener is yo tendré, tú tendrás, él, ella, usted tendrá, nosotros tendremos, vosotros tendréis, and ellos, ellas, ustedes Tendrán. I repeat, tendré, tendrás, tendrá, tendremos, tendréis, and tendrán. It is very easy and it is very important to learn a verb like tener. How do you do the conjugation of a verb which is like tocar, which is to, to touch or to play? So, the conjugation of tocar in the future is yo tocaré, tú tocarás, él, ella, usted tocará. Nosotros tocaremos, without accent, vosotros tocaréis, and ellos, ellas, ustedes tocarán. I repeat, tocaré, tocarás, tocará, tocaremos, tocaréis, and tocarán. How do you conjugate a verb like vender, which is to sell? In the future, vender is conjugated in the following manner. Yo venderé, tú venderás. Él, ella, usted venderá. Nosotros venderemos. Vosotros venderéis. And ellos, ellas, ustedes venderán. I repeat, vendere, venderás, venderá. Venderemos, venderéis. And venderán. Another verb which is also quite oftenly used in Spanish is venir, which is to come. 
Please remember that we are taking examples of verbs which are most commonly used or very frequently used or are considered important in Spanish. Apart from it, there are many other verbs which you can have a look at the verb list and see the conjugation of these verbs. So, venir is conjugated in the future as vendré, vendrás, vendrá, vendremos, vendréis and vendrán. I repeat, yo vendré, tú vendrás, él, ella, usted vendrá, nosotros venderemos, vosotros vendréis. And Elios, Elias, and Ustedes vendrán. How do we do the conjugation of a verb like vivir, to live? In the future, the verb vivir is conjugated in the following manner. Viviré, vivirás, vivirá, viviremos, viviréis, and vivirán. I repeat, yo viviré, tú vivirás, él, Elia, usted vivirá, nosotros viviremos, vosotros viviréis, and Elios, Elias, and Ustedes viviran. Now that we've seen the future, let us move on to the next set of verbs that we want to learn in this module. The next uh, tense that we would like to talk about is called the conditional tense. The conditional tense we'll pick up as an example the first one that we've already done in the future. So, for example, aprender to learn. How do you conjugate aprender in the conditional tense? The conditional tense aprender conjugation is aprendería, aprenderías, aprendería, aprenderíamos, aprenderíais, and aprenderían. I repeat, yo aprendería, tú aprenderías, él, ella, usted aprendería, nosotros aprenderíamos, vosotros aprenderíais, and ellos, ellas, ustedes aprenderían. So, you can see that all the accents are put in all the, the uh, conjugations of the conditional tense in the verb aprender and in all other verbs also. So, let us move on to the next verb which we've already dealt with in the future which is barrer, to sweep. How do you conjugate barrer in the, in the conditional? Well, you, you conjugate barrer in the conditional in the following manner. Yo barrería, tú barrerías. Él, ella, usted, barrería, nosotros, barreríamos, vosotros, barreríais, and ellos, ellas, ustedes, barrerían. I repeat, barrería, barrerías, barrería, barreríamos, barreríais, and barrerían. How do you conjugate a verb like buscar in the conditional? The conjugation of buscar in the conditional is yo buscaría. Tú buscarías. Él, ella, usted buscaría. Nosotros buscaríamos. Vosotros buscaríais. And ellos, ellas, ustedes buscarían. I repeat. Buscaría, buscarías, buscaría. Buscaríamos, buscaríais. And buscarían. How do you conjugate a verb like comprender, which is to understand? Comprender in the conditional is conjugated in the following manner. Yo comprendería, tú comprenderías, él, ella, usted comprendería, nosotros comprenderíamos, vosotros comprenderíais, and ellos, ellas, ustedes comprenderían. I repeat, comprendería, comprenderías, comprendería, comprenderíamos, comprenderíais, and comprenderían. Another verb that we should move on to is correr. How do you conjugate correr in the conditional? We, we conjugate correr in the conditional in the following manner. Correría, correrías, correría, correríamos, correríais, and correrían. I repeat, yo correría, tú correrías, él, ella, usted correría, nosotros correríamos, vosotros correríais, and ellos, ellas, ustedes correrían. How do we conjugate the verb decir in the conditional? We conjugate the verb decir in the conditional in the following manner. Yo diría, tú dirías, él, ella, usted diría, nosotros diríamos, vosotros diríais, and ellos, ellas, ustedes dirían. I repeat, yo diría, tú dirías, él, ella, usted diría, 
nosotros diríamos, vosotros diríais, and ellos, ellas, ustedes. How do we do the verb escribir? The verb escribir is conjugated in the conditional in the following manner. Yo escribiría, tú escribirías, él, ella, usted escribiría. Nosotros escribiríamos, vosotros escribiríais, and ellos, ellas, ustedes escribirían. How do we do the verb escuchar? Yo escucharía, tú escucharías, él, ella, usted escucharía. Nosotros escucharíamos, vosotros escucharíais, and ellos, ellas, ustedes escucharían. I repeat, escucharía. Escucharías, escucharía, escucharíamos, escucharíais, and escucharían is the way escuchar is conjugated in the conditional tense. We come back again to another important verb which is estar which means to be. How do you conjugate estar in the conditional manner? We use it in many times and that is why the conditional tense is also very important of estar. Estar is conjugated in the conditional as yo estaría, tú estarías, él, ella, usted estaría, nosotros estaríamos, vosotros estaríais, and ellos, ellas, ustedes estadar, estarían. I repeat, estaría, estarías, estaría, estaríamos, estarías, and estarían. How do you conjugate haber? In the conditional, haber is conjugated in the following manner. Yo habría, tú habrías, él, ella, usted habría, nosotros habríamos, vosotros habríais, and ellos, ellas, ustedes habrían. I repeat, habría, habrías, habría, habríamos, habríais, and habrían is the conjugation of haber in the conditional tense. So, to conclude, we would like to sum up by saying that you can see that Spanish verbs are a lot of fun to learn because most of the times they are following a set pattern of endings. It is very scientific. So we will have a lot more uh, look at more verbs and their different patterns in the coming modules. But before moving on, please sit down with these tenses, learn them up and do the exercises that are in the self-learn section. Thank you.